I can't feel my eyes. Which is normal. So hello. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hand of Fate 2. September 8th. 7th, actually. 2021. Wow. There's a giant thing on the on the wall. Giant skull thing. Big horned beast. I think that reminds me of those things from Torchlight 2. The frost hoof things. Although it might... Mm, I don't know. I don't really recall the enemies from the first game. There were some big things, but I don't know if those were the big things. Anyways... What are we I going do not to know what the today? usurper has done with my game. He will have improved it, I am sure, as I improved the game of my predecessor. Yeah. Had some cheese. So I would had some blood sugar or something. I don't know if cheese gives you blood sugar or something, but let's hope I don't fall asleep during stream. So I had a little nap. I had a nightmare. I dreamt that I was streaming. And while I was streaming, Twitch updated their layout, like full on changed it. Not just not even an update, changed their layout. To such a disgustingly bad, functionally broken layout. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh my god. It's a, it's a fucked up nightmare, dude. But <clears throat> that didn't happen, although I am streaming now, so... Oh god, Anywho. What was this one? Oh, the clue thing, of course. Of course. Screw this, I'm not doing it. We're not doing the Timed Emperor either, because fuck that. We'll do that when we have, like, decked out bullshit. Also, last Friday, the, f f the very end, the couple, like, five minutes of the stream were down, and they didn't notice. Internet provider just went offline, like, for me, for our... Uh, home internet, for my mother's personal internet, for her phone. It just went just full-on offline everything, so yeah. Recording still went through though, of course. Let's do the hermit. Or the weed. Oh, wheel. Oh, okay, hermit. Let's do the hermit. The hermit has been with you along yeah. this road. Oh, this guy. Aiding you at every step. Aiding me. Neither of us would be here without him, yet he remains a mystery even to me. Meister, right? Yeah, the hermit. That, I remember that card, you could give stuff to him. Obviously. Rumor has it, there is a powerful magician hidden in the devilishly confusing and dangerous forest of eternal snow. Running away is one thing, knowing where to go is another. Avoid danger using map reveal. Why? I love danger. Explorer. Draw the head may be long, have enough food, and prepare for combat against empire, so... Big, heavy, boom boom weapons. Alright. Oh yeah, we can have her now. Because we did the, cha we did the chariot. With flying colors, I might add. Combo attack. When activated, Astro performs powerful attacks that ca and causes knockdown. Stay close to charge her ability faster. That's good, though. Knockdown. This knockdown means we can just finish her everything. That's good. Retry precision. Optional retry and fail precision gambit. So the pendulum. Ah, melee fighter. Fights in close quarters with sword and defends herself with her pistol. We'll try her out. Oh, even the Empire turns against itself. He comments on it, because, you know, we're going against the Empire. So what if I take him against the North people? Hold on. 
<laughs> oh, it, it remembers the presets. Look at that. It says nothing. Uh, lame, bruh. Right. Maybe it only says it every couple times. Anyways, it's gonna be her. Wait, she had like some flavor text. Oh, select who will accompany you. Oh, yeah, okay. Nice flavor text. Alright, so we need a lot of food. Map reveals apparently. So there is Mayor of Farwater. Her quest. Let's add it. Fuck it. Cyber fight. Oh. Hi, Brian. Let's add Bitter Winter because we are on a winter map, so it's fitting. Fallen treasure. Money. You do like that one, don't you? <laughs> I'm just trying to get the token, I swear. Max health. Um, I want the blessing. I could take the fishing instead of the arm wrestling. This food is going to be more useful than money, apparently. We can have 12 encounters, so, you know, fuck it, let's take that and bo both of them. But we're not taking the old maiden. We're gonna take the damsel in this the distressed damsel, because it gives us, like, 4 fame, no matter the outcome, I think, so... That's good. Other's gift is probably only... Wait, I think we got a new, uh... Like, fame weapon, like a platinum weapon, I think. Street Fighter! Fucking the road. Alright, let's see what Burrow Burrow is. Let's see what the Pauper's Dilemma is. Let's see what the Fetid Fens are. And let's put in the Alchemist. Hell yeah. So we have some new stuff as well. And some of them with tokens. Yeah. Dark Thirst. Unknown. We're taking it because it's a big weapon. Marksman's Bane. New weapon. Food shield. Although... Oh, this... The horn, definitely. Empire's Burden. We can have ten. It says Empire's Burden, so I'm guessing it's against the Empire, so let's keep the... Let's take the... Frontier Barboot is good against the Empire, right? We can block. Pesh Thunderation increased by 20% against the Empire enemies in block. Oh yeah, we can take that. Elusive charm. Oh, this is what we got, the Grifter's Companion. I guess why not. Oh, Platinum Limit, no! I guess we take the Humble Hammer. 26 damage. What's the... where's the thirst? It's 22 damage. Oh. Huh. Humble Hammer is pretty good. Although I think this is the updated, upgraded one, right? I don't even know. Because the Cardinal Blade is update, upgraded as well. But how do I know if it's upgraded or not? It doesn't say it anyway. It should be like a Cardinal Blade Plus or something. Anyways, that's our equipment. And oh Post twenty five northerners, that's not gonna happen here. I can have three, so let's go with that. The axe and the money. I could go with the armor instead of the money. 
Actually, yeah, because if I find something better, I can sell these, because these are not, like, the, the rusty weapons. Yeah. Yee! Alright. After much preparation, let's get absolutely trashed on the first try. <laughs> As per usual. I have spent more time alone than any hermit could imagine. In truth, it is only your ignorance thing. that leaves these cards and occupied by side. such commoners. Oh my god! You seek and the hermit moves again. We have much to learn from each other at this point. Oh. Is this map going to be, like, refreshing? Like, if I leave a tile, it goes into blank again? While exploring the wildlands, you arrive quite suddenly at the fringes of a curiously enchanted winter forest. Where you stand, it is a warm summer afternoon. Yet only ten steps away, the cedars are grey with frost, and the ground is black bl blanketed in thick snow. Horrendous, you turn in surprise to face Estrella, but it is not she who spoke. It's the uh, Six of Steel and Arrow. <laughs> an Empire General in an impressively plumed helm approaches you. A sizable company of Empire soldiers are arrayed behind him. Horrendous, isn't it? The smell of obstinate mage filth staining the land. So we're gonna have to defend a magical forest. What is this? Uh, fucking uh, Maleficent? Oh, Maleficent movie? No. No, don't cut the forest. No! It start of the general... Oh. <laughs> it start the general recognizes your companion. Captain Fiore, what business do you have here with this mercenary? So it keeps her uh, reticent, reticent demeanor. Unofficial business, General Willem, you schmuck. He bows in concession. Regardless, I would advise that this frozen waste is far too dangerous for your unofficial business. The ground changes underfoot, and the blizzards tear your skin to shreds. <clears throat> cool, I like it. He gestures and his troops split into small parties and head into the wasteland. He turns to you and bows deeply before following the late last party and... Never fear, citizen! This major will meet the blade of the Empire's justice. I mean, hey, if they split up, it's gonna be easier to kill them all. Enter the Hermit's Forest, let's get to Estrella about Willem. Thrust coughs. General Willem was a lovely, a lowly recruit when last we met. I suppose his aggressiveness got him somewhere. What about the hermit? Thrust frowns. The decree on the outlaw of magic has been around for an age. Impressed by the hermit's blatant rejection of the law. The law. They outlawed magic. It's the Shrek. We Shrek now. Let's enter the forest. You notice Estrella relax her hand from her pistol. I do not take such powerful magic lightly, usually. She gestures to the winter forest. However, I believe this army deserves a fair warning and a fair fight. I'm gonna break his neck. Alright. <laughs> Let's go into the middle. So, the Empire is 40 days away. Is that 40 turns? 2, 3, 4, 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4. We have plenty of time, unless it does change, like it shuffles, you know, let's see. The Empire hey, sets signs the in order tree. to guide the rest of their forces. Ah. Fortunately, you too can follow. That was a red card I saw. Yeah, you find the tree etched with a strange marking. Is this a sign pointing toward the hermit? I don't know. Clean snow is marred by heavy footprints. Empire must be ahead of you. Empire draws four days closer to the hermit. In one day, they just get four days closer. So red trees are bad. Red. Not knowing what else to do, you press on. <laughs> Fuck you. Hallelujah. Ah. Uh, I make donation all the time. Confidence. Easy ability. Hits required to charge your weapon ability are reduced by two. Permanent blessing. Hold on. Oops. Oh, I can't check my inventory. Fuck. 
I wanted to check my uh, my axe's uh, requirement because if it's weapon ability, might as well take this. Dagger's charm, gain twenty gold at the beginning. I don't think this is. I think this is just going to be the same map, so I don't think this will work. Your max life is less than one hundred and fifty. You may discard food gain or equipment gain cards to receive plus five max health. So plus 15 life for every gold gain, so we can heal big time when we get gold. And food with guys, I, I really like this one. You know, this helps with the food situation, if it ever gets dire. Even though we can't sell food in this game, at least so far, there's no way to sell food. Let's camp actually. Take a moment to seek warmth, yet do not forget your quest. What if with every camp these fuckers get closer to the, to the little hermit? That's <laughs> an adorable little icon. Tiny raisin on a man carry of a man carrying a heavy sack emerges from the trees, nods and settles by a fire. It is awful cold in the hermit's woods. I wish to only warm my hands for a while. It's the fucking hermit, I swear. It's, it's probably the hermit. The decree to purge mages from this land came before I was even born, Strella looks uncomfortable. Well, I suppose they did well. I have never met a mage in my life before Malakrips. That sucks, though. Great. Take a look! I cannot sell you much, though. Most of the provisions are on order for the mage villages scattered in this forest. Ah, no, he's the mage supplier. Now we can check what this does, at least. Critical Strike, 250 damage on a single target, so it's basic sword. Empire's Bane, or Empire Bane. Deal 135% damage to Empire and ranged enemies. Ignores defense. Oh. What the hell was that noise? My phone is dying. So basic, just base 35% extra damage to Empire and ignores their defense. Or just ignores defense in general. And to range. This sword is going to be light. Only three fame required too. Reflect 15 projectiles from Empire enemies with a shield that can reflect. This sword I would like. I keep pressing S. Escape. It's not escape, it's other click. But I could sell these for like 9, so that would put me to 13, but it costs, what, 18? 45! Oh, 18 is the damage, Jesus! Alright, I'll rip. At least I know that it's in the camp, you know? And we can camp anytime, so... Oh yeah, oh, yeah now you should check my uh, thingies. So, Chieftain's Axe. Stun corrupted. Perform a powerful strike that causes stun corrupted. Stun enemies take extra damage. Armor breaker against corrupted. Bash causes additional damage to armor. And heavy. Oh, it doesn't have a token, actually. Oh, it was the hammer, but I don't have it. So this is a corrupted slayer, so I don't really need it. The leather armor gives us 8 defense. Movement speed by 10%. Reduction. And shot and it's a stun bash, requires 5 defense. 25 charred bash ability against any enemy. Hmm. You hope your food supply lasts. <laughs> okay. Fuck! Let's see, that's the strange bullshit. Are you kidding me? I am going to get shrecked in the beginning. Fuck, hell. Yeah. Oh, and every staff A creature of confusion, closer. but no malice. <laughs> Sharp tooth. What the hell? Small blue ink materializes on the path ahead of you. It grins, revealing grow rows of needle-like teeth. I am Sharp Tooth. <laughs> the creature rushes at you, arms outstretched. You back away from its enthusiastic embrace. And the third Sharp Tooth merely grins. I will move the forest around. Say yes, Empire will fall 10 days behind. So if it hides this again, and if we get 
more gold. Can I buy another blessing? Yeah, shuffle this shit. Brrr. Or sp spasms and the trees on the horizon shift back and forth as if moved by an invisible hand. The empire falls, then days behind. So, does anyone die while this happens? Like, you know, the trees just go... <laughs> and people get smooshed. Hopefully. Seemingly content, sharp tooth simply, simply fades from you, waiting cheerfully all the while. Thanks, sharp tooth. Fucking freak. Alright. I've said my piece on gnomes. The company you kept to get you here is strange indeed. As you trundle along your, uh, you know, almost out of food, along in your horse-drawn carriage, you catch a glimpse of some cheeky gnomes swinging with your weapon. You can chase them on foot until they dive into a burrow. Oh, you chase them on foot until they dive into a burrow. Take a peek into their hidey hole and discover they have quite a cache of weapons in their lair. You reach your arm into the hole and get the shit stabbed out of me. Oh no. Ooh, we might get Marksman's thingy. Oh, I got my Chieftain's Xbox. <laughs> Don't hurt us! They cry. They hand you back your stolen item. The little round door slams shut as you draw your weapon from the barrel. This could be nice, actually. Start with some garbage weapon. But not your rusty one, because the rusty one can't be taken away, so I guess... What happens if you only have the rusty weapons? Can this actually trigger...? Oh. Ah, oh, yes! Wait. Oh, villager's axe. Yeah, because they took mine. Yeah. Got my chieftain's axe back. Go oh, back. Max. Hey! Okay, try for big food. We are not going to buy, because we can't buy the... Uh, well... Quote unquote buy, you know? She steals it and pockets our money. So, you know. <laughs> buy my asshole. Patience, do not move <laughs> too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. And a bunch of people, too. Aha! And now we try for the blue. Because we want food. Soldier? No, no, no. I, I want this. Food! That will set you in good stead from here. Or the gloom dropper thingy. Oh, and another one. Oh, big goodness. All right, food is okay now. I want to look at the corner. The Empire mage. has made killing mages a core pursuit. Fortunately, a mage is a cunning prey. Oh, I'm fucking cunning. <laughs> While trudging through the snow, you hear a shout and the sound of swords being drawn. <clears throat> Time to kill. A captain fighting on your side. Interesting. Time for me to mess up the, uh, the buttons again. I don't even know what, what's what. I think middle mouse is uh, bash. Oh, my. I have to do bashes anyways, charge bashes. Oh, she has a pistola. <laughs> oh god. She looks like uh, the frangled bitch from Wolfenstein New Order. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> Having only ever no military life, Strella's high rank and fame were uh, justly earned. Activated. <laughs> Strel performs powerful attacks that causes knockdown. Stay close to her to charge her ability faster. Now we fight for honor. Oh wait, I'm here. I looked at her. What's my? Oh. It's also time. So. Every time we fight the Empire, we're gonna have time fucking to save this. Thankfully, she raped the other guy in the corner. Wait, actually, she didn't. She just came to me. Oh god, oh god, what's happening to him? 
he's part of the carriage now. <laughs> or the cart. Oh, Jesus. Frame. Or fame. Or whatever. <laughs> you gained frame. Look the bodies and hurry away. Oh, both of them I would like, but this reveals map, right? Every encounter with a gambit. Oh. Still. Baby, right. I could buy the uh, the empire. Oh no, I couldn't. It's, it's forty-six. The storm will delay you, but it will also delay those who are hunting your prey. Oh, that's good. A little warning: a snowstorm sweeps in from the north. The snow whips against you like shards of glass and obscures your vision. You struggle to find cover. Storm tears through the forest, erasing your tracks. Empire falls four days behind. Uh oh, spaghetti! -o. Ah, that's fine. Winter Trail. That's just a basic ass. No, nothing happens. Card, right? Thing. Okay, we. Okay, so you didn't completely erase anything, really. Mage. So I'm guessing if I run out of time before I kill them, they draw closer to the hermit. Is what I'm guessing. So we gotta eradicate these vermin, so to speak. Oh, big axe. Mm. Mm. That hermit looks so ugly though. That crafting and perfectly weighed. A, br a brutal yet simple tool. Knockdowns or stuns with her thing? Because knockdowns are the finisher, right? Gotta check again because I forgot. Fame! And bodies! Oh, we can easily get all the things now. So now I can check what these do. Elusive charm, easy escape. Escape from snare more easily. Yeah! So far, I haven't met an Empire soldier with snare ability, so. Let's not take that. Empire's Burden. Five uses. Oh, it's an artifact. Fuck. I keep thinking there are amulets in this game, but no. I think that's Ziggurat that has amulets. Yeah. Throw a bomb that causes 30 damage and slow Empire and slow to Empire enemies when activated. Less effective against other factions. Yes. Oh. 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 Almost, right? No, what changed? Oh, well, now we can check what this is. Wheel nudge. Rifter's companion. Wheel nudge. Optionally, nudge the result onto the next card during a wheel gambit. Doesn't need fame. Dude, this is awesome. Yeah. I'll buy that. Every game comes down to finding an edge. Oh, I'll find an edge. Right there. Motherfucker. Yeet. <clears throat> Zell looks nervously around the at the winter forest. I've never seen such magic work in my lifetime. Empire would fear such power greatly. I mean, that's why they're hunting it, dude. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
Simony Remedy. Or Simony. I don't know. Gain. If you have zero gold and zero food at the beginning of a new map, throw three gain cards and discard this card. Hmm. Looks Vitality. I'm gonna take Monk's Vitality, because if we run into more of these uh, mage hunt things, we're gonna get a lot of gain or equipment cards, right? So I can just discard them, gain max life, and then keep healing up. What's the other one? The healing, right? Whenever, every time we get a gold gain, we get 15 life. Healed. And if we get a Temple Praise again, that's gonna be the one, but this we take. Oh, yeah, baby! Wow! Alright. Thank you. This may be your chance to set the mouse upon the cat. Further into the forest, you hear a, sh a smattering of voices carried off on the wind from somewhere to the east. Motion and Strella to stay behind before cautiously approaching the voices. Spy a small empire party. Party! Taking break from their zealous manhunt. They're just partying in the snow. Hell yeah. Scared by fog and brambles, you consider your options. If you stay hidden, you might learn more of the forest, but you also risk discovery. Hell yeah. Risk, risk, risk. Let's go. Big success. Yay. Soldier whistles and sits down. It's a good thing the captain thought to give us these shields. Mmm. You'd be wandering into blizzards and that blasted imp otherwise. Spy a shining shield resting against a boulder just in reach of your hiding place. Is it the enchanted shield that soldier mentioned? To your dismay, a soldier balancing an, o an overflowing bowl of stew sits down in front of your hiding place. Buzzing with adrenaline, you reconsider your options. Kill him! Continue to stay hidden. We will bide our time. We'll snap at the shield when it's our, our, our thing. Nicely timed. You overhear the soldiers discussing a nearby landmark. Da 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 da. Oh. Let's avoid that. Unfortunately, another soldier approaches and the pair begin an animated conversation about their colors day plans. Oh my god! I'm gonna lose her for three turns, though. Bang! Oh, God damn it! Poorly done. Bang. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness inside you. Quietly still now. <sighs> well, at least we know two red trees we shouldn't touch. Blizzard! Goddamn blizzard. So, what is huge success in a blizzard? Oh my god! General's store. Hell yeah. Law. Mmm, now we can check this. Dark Thirst. Critical strike, 200% damage on 6 hits. Extra Feeble. Requires less damage to cause knocked and corrupted. Yeah. Heavy. Bash enemies. Deal extra thingy. Defeat 50 corrupted enemies with this death weapon to unlock the token. And the token is this upgraded, so more damage. It's again, another corrupted weapon. But it makes sense because I think I got this after the uh, the chariot quest, as well as the um, whatever the other thing was that kills corrupted. Well, so, yeah. 
the valley and Tagus, that would be nice. Every third step is free for food. Plus one... Defend adds plus one to weapon charge, so that's always also good because it's a buckler. And it can reflect. But it only gives one defense. It's, you know, it's a buckler. It's a weak ship. Rubbing would give us 15 extra of max life. I'll go with that. Oh no, just 10. Whatever. That's fine. I don't know if there's gonna be Vilnage in this. But, yeah. This would be amazing uh, for the uh, people burning in the house. <laughs> but I already made the, the completed that, so I'm fine. Maybe I got this after that? Who knows? What's the token of this? Bash 50 enemies as they block. Oh, alright. Fuck it. We might buy healing. Oh. Food. Oh. Thank you. Nice chance. Oh boy, here we go again. Let's do it once. And then try to steal the shield. Oh, it's always the same, okay. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Wait, she's already back? Yeah, we try this, baby. Are you fucking kidding me? It bounces away from the side so quickly. It sits on my fucking hand. Oh, but I can still try. Steal the shield. <laughs> I want the fucking shield, bitch! Oh my fucking god. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Keep practicing. Never. Alright, I have to kill my cat. He was starving, so I broke his neck. Easy. Ugh. God damn it. Da -da -da -da. Not a lot of things to choose. I would not risk my skin for mere treasure. You do as you see fit. I will, for the token. Valiant Ace. Ooh. Enter the cave. I have little trust in artifacts that breathe myself. Wait, this breathes? <laughs> Wait, so I just got it? I didn't read the thing. I thought it was gonna be something. It read the item, but the trolls, troll cubs are enraged at your intrusion. Oh, yeah. This is where it goes. The pendulum swings like a scythe. Boom. Bearing hope or failure. Both quick and nimble as you exit the cave for two fame. Ah, one more token and we get something. Probably some cosmetic bullshit. Oh look, hidden mage is right there. Easy. Easy win, let's go. I hope I don't need to es escort them. Can't equip the shield though because I don't have a... The uh, marksman's bane. <clears throat> Hurry, you must find the secret the hermit holds. And break his neck. Well, the, <laughs> the screams and clashing metal. Find the company of Empire Slayer. Wait, they are 27 days away. Bullshit, dude. Tearing down tents and executing covering mages. Why? It's so sad. 
the arcane against phalanxes and other dicks. Alright. And I don't have a Strella. But that's okay. Look at that. Oh, they have like big ass murder weapons too. Alright, mages! Uh, uh, uh. I, I am uh, I am pressing the wrong fucking button again. Now I have to defend the mages. Dude, I pressed the right button this time. They can hold their own, it looks like. Right. Attack me, fucker! Or don't. Look at that ice. Oh god, it's like. Looks like tinfoil. <laughs> Some blue tinfoil, dude. <laughs> that looked ugly. Jesus. Ages are grateful for your intervention. For fame. A dent is well hidden in the sweeping snow and fog. He has sent, spent time here in exchange for resources. There is a next level. Oh. Spent five days, draw on equipment gains. Spent two days, draw on food gain. I might do that. Kind of need. Ask about Shoptooth. No, oh, we need to ask about the hermit. Mage draws a rune in the snow and says, The hermit enchanted the forest to protect us. Not sure how he does it. Perhaps blood magic? Mm. Shoptooth. Horrible little imp, grumbles a mage as he stares into a beaker full of bubbling liquid. God knows how he does it, but every time he shifts the forest around, he plays havoc with my readings. Maybe the blue ink of the. Maybe Shoptooth is the. Uh, the child of the hermit. <laughs> a fucking miscreation. You're gonna spend two days to draw one foot gun and play for five food. I know, I spent a few days tending to a mage with the winter shivers. The healer instructs you to tap dust from a blue chalky rock over him every time he wakes. Mage is gift you with soft blocks of pounded felon wort mixed with syrup. I cannot read this fast, it's weird words. I it smells faintly of cinnamon. Mm. Three. And we heal. Alright. Oh, discard for five max life. No, 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 no. We, we need the food. Continue on the journey. Mages point you vaguely in the hermit's direction. Even they are not certain of his whereabouts. Cross the Silver River through the Twin Oaks. <laughs> we might not have the uh, the Temple Shrine anymore, but the damsel in distress might be here, and that's food and fame, boys. <laughs> Guess what? Hell yeah. 14? I've never rolled 14. Games I rolled. Within games, within games. 18! Hey, we get food though. Oh, 16, boy. Well done. 
<clears throat> you continue to impress. Thank you. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Oh boy, of course we take it. Oh yeah, oh uh, we can just cut this. Five. But it only gives two fame, but it gives big food, so. So it's a good card. Because if you screw it up, you still fight the bandits for four fame. And if you don't screw it up, big food. Frontier Barbu gives us Winter Trail, so we don't need to step on that. Alright. Two bird alights on a tree and begins to chirp. It's Twitter. You wonder whether it is too. It too is merely a product of the Hermit's magic. Hmm. Better last chance. You know what happens. Try to steal the shield. <laughs> Breathe, you have done well. Oh, they revealed the thing, not the shield this time. So we know Blizzard. I'm gonna step on it though. I want them to lose four days. Uh. Ah, fuck it. You know. Yo, low, bitch. Oh, fuck. Nah, it's fine. I like cramps while you crouch in the dark, damn thicket. The soldier's conversation is wholly interesting. Sneak away. Oh, I have to sneak away though. That's okay. No crunches loudly underfoot, but by luck or fate, you manage to slip away. And we get the fatted ferns. Fence. So we're gonna step in this, even though we might lose life. We might lose a lot of life. But they will be further away. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. And it's a gambit too, so it's gonna give us another... Uh, another reveal. Alright, it's pretty good. Things run poorly in the fields when things run poorly on the throne. These shortages all fall upon the head of the Emperor. The Emperor protects. Across the snow-covered field, you see a lonely homestead. As you approach, you are greeted by the occupants, a farmer and his family. The farmer wrings his hands nervously and he fights his pride. I don't suppose you can spare my family some food. We have very few supplies to last us the winter. He's wringing his hand. He'll be most grateful. I want the token! Bless your soul, the farmer gasps as he hand him food. It's more than I could have ever expected from a stranger. I was, I'm gonna starve to death. I was bad word of this deed, and come the harvest, I will repay this gesture as best I can. You better fucking repay it fast. They already adds an encounter card to the deck. You gain two fame. Mm. So I don't get the token yet. Oh, I do get the token. Oh, the token. I have to find Harvest, and it's in the deck. Oh, fuck you. <clears throat> if there's no next level, this is booed. God damn it. Well, now we know. This might not be the best, uh, like, quest or campaign or mission to put this card onto. Oh, well. Rip. Ah! Hey! Small claim, we stumble across another group of exiled mages. After some ins insistence, they lower their guard. This damned village is well hidden, sweeping snow and fog. You can spend time here in exchange for resources. Hmm, it's quite sharp tooth. Horrible little imp. Oh, they, they say the same thing. 
Distracted mage waves his hand towards the forest without looking up from his readings. Yes, yes, the hermit is that way. Doesn't often take visitors, I remember seeing him anyway. <clears throat> okay. Good grain, one food. But keep it. You may just point you vaguely in the hermit's direction, even they are not certain of his whereabouts. Stay fast to the path of bluebells. If you are at the Great Lake, you have gone too far. What the fuck? Okay, we have to find the harvest. Ah, uh, Jesus. Sharp tooth. Hey, sharp tooth. You know what, sharp tooth? Yeah. Move the forest around. Hell yeah, that's a free 10 day extra for us. Because we basically didn't encounter anything yet, so that's good. Thank you, Sharp Tooth. Good boy. Mage hunting. Gotta kill more people. You know, you wanna get out of murder, but they just draw you back in. Or drag you back in. Whatever. Murder! On my mark! Get away! Oh. Yeah, she did stun. So she she does knock them. So that's good. Like his little rope on the uh, the knee protector. He has some rope on there. Pretty weird. Drop the bodies and hurry away. Mm. Ah, but I don't know what it is. It gives me five max HP. I think I will need that because I will start to you know starve, and every step takes ten lives. So we are discarding it. Health potion. God damn it. Can you reach the end of this challenge before you starve to death? Uh. Time will tell. God damn it. <laughs> Time will tell. <laughs> I won't even have full health before I start starving to death. <laughs> exactly. My cat knows what's up. Starving to death is bad. He had a... Or whatever. Oh, what the fuck? I was mashing space. Or not space. C. Whatever. I was, I was, I was on there. A minute we can camp to buy food. Good for stay refreshed. Hell yeah. I forgot about this. What's the equipment? Humble hammer. Right. What can I sell for more money that I don't care about? Well, I can sell the valiant Aegis. Well, as soon as I find another weapon, like a sword, I put this on and then food is going to be okay. That's extra health. I'm gonna sell this. 
In before, I'm gonna step on a real nudger. Fuck it. Eight food. That's leather armor. Eight defense. We'll keep it. Eight food. Oh, what the fuck? Well. HP. Perilous chance. What? Alright, fuck. That will set you in good stead. So even if here. you don't encounter them, you still have to you know, do stuff. That would be great. Time to starve. Starvation has been the end of many adventurers. Huh. Hey, huge success. You fall half blind into a cave obscured by rock and bramble. Perfect shelter. That's it. There's the hermit. Oh, we can make it without starving to death. Ah. Alchemy oh. is one of the pure arts. That says little for its practitioners, however. Alright, countless jars and obscure artifacts clutter the room. On a central workbench, a peculiar glass beaker simmers over the flame. Ah, I see you found my laboratory, Dan, a voice exclaims. From behind that pile of dusty books, a roped figure emerges, clad in a pointy hat and a pair of thick spectacles. My phone did a noise again, what the hell? Every time it does that, I'm like, is the stream okay? The stream is okay. It smiles. Here to create uh, the elusive elixir of life? Or perhaps it is gold you desire? It's food. Really? All is possible. <coughs> Jesus. Oh, my Ebola. Oh, look. Host 00312 followed an hour ago. I have a feeling that's a bot. And you know why? Because yesterday, the same thing happened. With a similarly named uh, account that unfollowed since, but s still, also I didn't get the uh, pop-up. So, although wait, it was an hour ago. But an hour ago, the post, the the notification wasn't there. I'm being botted. What the fuck? I'm not even going to thank that. What the hell? Now they're making follow bots. They're trying, you know. The evil people who do the hate raids are testing their follow bots. Mm. Maybe that's why my phone was making the noise. It knows. Anyways, all is possible through alchemy. Even a follow bot. Disgusting. <clears throat> Alas, I have yet to prove that such things are indeed possible, he explains. No matter. So he's just claiming things. I like his eyes, though. <laughs> crazy, crazy sharp eyes. Say, would you care to assist me with my experiment? Hell yeah. If I die, I'm... It's, it's cool, though, that the hermit is next to the uh, shrine. It's fitting. Very well, let's begin. Take a jar, jar, and place it, its contents in the beaker. He says as he dips his quill in an inkwell and prepare... Oh, fuck. Prepares to wipe. Right. I'm having a stroke, Jesus. Remember, you must keep the elixir pure. Uh-oh. If this is a fucking Wheel of Fortune thing, and they just sold my ring, I'll be, I'll be sad. Take the take a jar from the shelf, and unscrew the lid. Oh, Here it, we see yet another it wheel. Is... Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. So, I'm guessing the red is health, the yellow is gold, and the blue is going to be fame. But if we start randomizing them through rolls, they're going to blow in a blow up in our face. So 
How do you make green from these colors? Blue and yellow are green, right? If you mix the colors. You know, when painting. So, you know. Fuck it, random. Boom, yellow feathers. Okay. Hmm. Dark one stains a collection of yellow feathers. You place one in the beaker and it dissolves instantly. Although he said we have to keep it pure, so... Next. The clear liquid gains the faintest tint of yellow. Excellent! The alchemist says, as he scrolls feverishly in his ledger. Now pick another. You reach from the jar and put the red bug in it. Please, please, yes! Grr. Yellow shrooms? Jar contains dried yellow mushrooms. You sprinkle a handful into the beaker and they dissolve instantly. Yellow eggs intensifies. Remarkable! The alchemist mutters as he continues to write in the, in the ledger. It's looking promising. Now pick one more. Oh boy, here we go. Yellow bug. It's from that Aladdin game. Let's go. No! Fuck. Oh, I put the blue feathers in it because I'm stupid. Gingerly, you <laughs> the blue feathers into the flask. Dull green. Wait, that might be cool. Right? Green? Mix of ingredients seems a little unbalanced. Too many feathers, perhaps? Alchemy says as he picks up the flask with a pair of metal tongs. Hmm. He carefully pours the liquid into a small vial. He inspects it closely through his thick spectacles. Yes, the color lacks some purity. But I dare say, if my calculations are correct, the of this liquid will provide you with such... With as much sustenance as any meal! Hey. So yeah, making it into green is, does give you food. Good, good. I like it. I like that. You know, if you have any basic elementary school knowledge about colors and their mixture mixing, you can get some food. <laughs> Take it, it's yours. One food gain. So I basically made a... like a mushroom feather smoothie. Yum. Tastes like bird shit. And ground. I will not discard that. I need it. There is no elixir of life, but it will do. The alchemist scribbles feverishly in his ledger. Thank him and continue your journey. Dude, so from different types of feathers and some mushrooms, he made food. <laughs> Great! I wonder if it's the mushrooms that give the nutrients. Alright. <clears throat> Well, we didn't get the elixir of life, but we got some food so we won't starve to death. In the next couple of steps, we can actually heal. Ah, winter trail. Ah, winter trail. Ah, the hermit! You have found the hermit, although this entire meeting was ordained. You would not be here if you had not once been there. What? <laughs> what? Here, where the fog hangs heaviest, you spy a long tent, surrounded by a thick blanket of snow. Approach the tent. It could have gone to the shrine, but fuck it. You enter the tent. On the floor, a small copper bowl burns with a warming blue flame. The tent is otherwise unadorned and unfinished, unfurnished. An old man sits cross-legged in the middle of the space. The hermit. He's small, very small. Colorful cloth and thick swath of moss have been draped over his shoulders. What the hell? Swamping the hermit's delicate frame. He's old. I mean, he's been around for a long time in the first game. He's been around for even longer in this one. It's like a hundred years later. I like how the dude's mask is like covered in, in goop. I just noticed that. Might be new, it might be. Might have been there from the beginning also he has a horn he's a horny boy you know he's corrupted you know he's pale and sickly his skin stretched tight over his gaunt face Ew. Ew. his eyes are closed and he doesn't appear to be breathing he's dead <laughs> Sarah looks unnerved she grips her the handle of her pistol cautiously He's not dead. You turn to see a young woman dressed in scholar's robes standing at the entrance to the tent. Not yet, anyway. He uses all his energy to preserve the forest. It's killing him. 
Oh, that's why he's like just bones. Look at his legs on the picture. Rip! Hermit does not move, yet his voice rings out around you. All of these cards have already been played. I have a role yet to fulfill. I do not die today. So, do I have to kill him? Oh no, wait. He's on the card is on this side, so it's with us. So, we're going to have Empire coming in soon. Go and look sadly at the Hermit. Ask how the Hermit eats. <laughs> <laughs> sure, most important question. Tells his power from the earth, but even that cannot sustain him enough for this. That's what protects the hermit. Keep out the bears and wolves. Oh, wolves well enough. Oh, so she protects. <laughs> she keeps out the bears and the wolves. <laughs> oh. Alright. <clears throat> so the woman is the defender. Empire is coming. Oh, well, nods. It was only a matter of time before they found us. I see. So we have to wait and then defeat Willem's forces. What do you want? Oh no, my cat intrudes. Hello. Oh. I can't see the, the screen. Alright, I can see the uh, the other monitor, you know. It's fine. So the Empire is 10 day 20 days away. So if you have a lot of extra days... Ew, what the fuck? Stop. His nose is wet! Which is good. He's a healthy kitten, but still, gross. So you have an extra days, you can, you can get some bonus things. Arcane ally. Oh, equipment gain. You're gonna... The hermit sits deathly still, surrounded by his winter forest. We're just gonna wait. No. We're gonna spend this. So, five days for an equipment. Our equipment is okay. I'm, I want to see what this arcane ally is. Spend days helping the woman fold paper beacons and seal them with blood to call, for, call forth the forest mages. Empire draws ten days closer. Thank you, kitten. <laughs> He's so fluffy. Alright. Closer to the hermit. The hermit says that Sith still. I could draw... So we got another arcane. Oh! Arcane ally. They are called arcane. So the mages. Okay. Blood mages. Mmm, yes. Oh, don't bite me! No! Get them! <laughs> Leave! <laughs> Go! <laughs> now he's showing his butt. Alright, but I can see the screen now. Spend another 10 days. Oh yeah, we don't need equipment. Spend days helping the woman. Da -da 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 -da. See, it was perfectly, perfectly uh, thought out. It was, as the dude said, preordained. Oh, he's gonna fall! Kitten, what the fuck? He's trying to go next, uh, like around the monitor, but there's no space. Just jump down, dude, what the fuck? Jump! Jump! <laughs> jump off! No, jump! <laughs> he wants to stay. Oh. Cute. Don't bite me! No! No. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. I can't see shit. General Willem arrives with his mage hunters on the morning of the fourth of third summer. This is gonna be a difficult fight. So there's general steel, musket, steels, and and three normal dudes. Actually, that might be like the uh, previous end boss with the uh, plague people. He's doing the same thing. Oh, 
his little tail is going back and forth now. He's angry because I'm not letting him sit here. All right. He might hit the uh, the microphone with his tail. Yep, there he goes. He sits. He sits. He fits. All right. He sees you and smiles without a hint of surprise. Ah, it's the maddling civilian. You steal your nerves and draw your weapon. Let's go. We got this in the bag. Just like my cat's gonna go into the bag soon, and then I'm gonna throw it in the river. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I love my cat. There's, that's the reason I have a cat. Oh. Look, it's Willem. He has the victory horn, and he's a mouth breeder. Or maybe he just doesn't have upper lips. Or, or upper lip. General Willem. He's a villain. <laughs> oh my god, he's so ripped. It's <laughs> he has a skin suit. What? The general has seen black and forbidden things. Ah, uh, that's racist. <clears throat> the mage hunters who accompany him even now began to suspect him of heresy. Heresy? I swear this is a 40k inspired game. Generals call forth a hail of arrows when they sound their horns. Use evade. Mesh space bar, do not die, alright. I don't understand why but we're here, but I will not let you kill in a So yeah, I'm invulnerable during my Wait, I was invulnerable this time, but there were times when I wasn't invulnerable during the thing. Yes! That works. Control force. Oh, that's my friend. No, Mugger! Oh, my mark. Well, one of them is already out. Oh, get absolutely destroyed, Willem. So far, those uh, skeleton spear throwers are the worst. Oh, ooh, skeleton spear throwers! They throw those spears faster than a musket ball fire flies. Like honestly, oh. his platoon dead at his feet, and his and he's dead too. Oh, and his plumed helmet splattered with blood. The wounded general grips his sword in defiance. We let the vavil. The bear vovel murder side. Although I could wait, so kill the general yourself. Let the mage one decide. So putting yourself in the this sentence just kind of implies that the mage is going to kill him. We'll 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 let them. As you lower your weapon, General Willem shuts his eyes with relief. The woman's face twits with rage and her hands to glow. Glow with dark energy. If you will not finish him, I will. Hold, Willy. <laughs> Is Willy the, the daughter of Willem? Is this like a random character arc? I turn to see the hermit standing in the door of his tent. We can afford to be merciful. Our roles here are determined, and we must act upon them. Just looking at my cat, he's like looking around, staring at the wall. <laughs> he might be hunting. Yesterday he he hunted a big ass uh, a butterfly, like a night butter butterfly, just big, thick boys. Uh, he might be looking for a new snack. <clears throat> and we must act upon them. He stares deep into your eyes. We have more business you and I but that comes later when you repeat this mission go forth and meet the fates well, the woman lowers her hands and stares at you defiantly now we can be safe even if just for a moment Hermit success 
and the secrets of the Hermit are unfolded to you. Secrets of the Hermit. Protecting the Hermit from the Empire's Purgath. We get the Helpful Priest. Oh, this is the card. From the first game. He's back. Get the Mage's Workshop. Get a Healer. Oh, these are like good cards all to get all around. And the Holy Relic. Wow. What is this picture? There's a northerner, an empire dude, and a bandit, all like boozed up and sleeping. Interesting. Fighting the hermit from the purge, we get imperial armor. Yikes. Will of the emperor. Ooh, another horn. Scorched blade. Oh. And the golden shield. Alright. And we got. Fate's Path. Great for raving the winter forest. Your supplies have been added to. Was this the winter forest? Didn't get the uh, the eight food giving bullshit. Well, yeah. I can no longer go easy on you. The usurper will not do so, and I must test you sorely before you arrive at his gates. I think he had more bullshit. Wow, well, so we got another four. Justice. Ooh. Justice demands retribution. The hanged man. Death. Temperance. I just realized that these are tarot cards. Ha! Huh. Damn, I am slow on the uptake. <laughs> I realized it when I read Hanged Man. <laughs> the Hanged Man. Huh. We might be playing Binding of Isaac without knowing that we are playing Binding of Isaac. <gasps> so go ahead. Alright. We are going to change our Appearance. Because we've been going with this weirdo, chaos looking ritualistic marking on the head for, for long enough. Look at that. They are sitting. And that's where the dealer is going to sit. Or maybe that's where the dealer is going to sit because there's one DLC character that I don't have. Alright. So let's change our hair. What the hell is that? Oh, that looks... that looks bad. Let's make it like... Black. Uh, we can change this. But I won't. Right. <laughs> oh my god, it's ugly! Whee. Hell yeah. Look like we are from goddamn uh, Mad Max. Witness me! Alright. <laughs> oh, that is ugly. I love it. Alright. Now we're going to do justice. Because that's what I feel like doing. When Tool comes to bear upon the work, both are shaped. This journey will change you and I mm. equally. Cool. Help defend the Imperial Fort against waves of Northerner attacks. So let's equip our anti-Northerner things. Anti-Northerner. Prepare for combat against Northerners. They throw those fucking bolus things. A lot of precision. And uh, be prepared for chance cards. Alright, so again, not a lot of uh, Wheel of Fortune bullshit. So we take Soldier again. She's good. I mean, her ability is pretty good. Combo attack. Because this guy just stuns, and this guy gives us the one hit shield. And he has the respin wheel. I mean, his ranged magic is okay, but he goes down so frequently. He's pretty good. Take Estrella. We'll take her card this time. I think I took her card previously as well, but who knows. I could take this. 
Look at that. Wheel, cursed. We can get cursed if you fuck up too much. I guess if you put three colors in it, we get cursed, because it's like gray or something. It's just poison. Max life is the life of thingy. Take the fatty fins. Arm wrestling. You have ten encounters only. I'm not gonna put the shrine in this time. I might put the borrow burrow in it. I really love the temple prayer though. We'll put one more known card, Distress Damsel, and then the rest are going to be new things. Fame and Shame, Scouting Party, Mage Workshop, Watchtower. Wait, the Watcher is not new. I just didn't get the token. Healer, Road to Goblin Town, Yvonne's Cottage. Is this the Northern Killer? No, it's Corrupted. Dark Thirst. Corrupted. Humble Ooh, I could put the Scotch Blade in. Winter's Bane is a Corrupted Killer. That's a good one. Put this in. Cry of Victory. Orny Emperor. Better escape from things. Uh, ruby ring. Gold. Yet, so just be safe. I hope this is something useful. It looks like it's a blessing, which is cool. All right, justice defend Imperial Ford for some reason. The people in our lives have much to teach us. In your case, each one is a lesson to be learned. With their aid, you can discover the oh, truth that level. lies at the center of this web. Oh my god. Glad I took the extra food. <laughs> oh, it's another forest. The Henry Imperial General Roldan the Fears has disappeared in the northern mountains during the diplomatic mission. A company has been sent to search for Roldan. His entourage, you have been enlisted as a scout for the group, given your experience with dealing with the northerners. You head off to catch up to the reinforcements who have established a small camp just outside the Empire's territory. Mountains. Okay. Are they impassable? Or reports to the Imperial Fort. That's probably the Imperial Fort. So let's go this way. <laughs> they all have tokens. They might be impassable, so if I want to get here. Oh my god. You are brought to the commander of the fort, Caelus Pompeius Trenico. Trenico. His large bulk is ill at ease with the thin mountain air, and he pauses only briefly to address you. Merc, we need supplies of wood and stone. Go out to find what you can for us. Oh, I guess we need to go to the mountains for stone. I'm not taking another step in these dreadful mountains until we establish the proper defense. 
Commander roars to his lieutenant, and he hurries back to the tent. Rolden's recklessness led to, this down to his downfall, and I'll not repeat his mistake. The squad of soldiers makes ready to accompany you into the wilderness. The men are led by Captain Alpus, seems far too young for his gloomy countenance. I hope you know your way around these mountains, he mutters as you leave the fort together. Around the mountains, yeah, so probably impassable as a mountain is. Set off into the mountains once more. You gain two fame, you have 20 soldiers with you. Oh wow. Yeah, there wood. Stone. Okay, so we need to go to the to the forest to get wood. So might as well go backwards because it doesn't cost food. Hmm. Night forest. The study of wood is the study of steel. For without the ability to cut, our tools are nothing. The ancient path up the mountain leads through light woodlands. A hundred wood remains at this location to be harvested. Direct the soldiers to gather wood. Requires a food. Oh my god. Big food. Well, big wood. Or whatever. Uh, only 50. Soldiers quickly and efficiently hack down a number of trees before you continue. Messenger, messenger is coming. So he's coming here, probably. You pass a messenger on the road who gives warning of northern raiding parties. Oh, these are the northerners. Okay. I thought this was a messenger coming. In the area. They may already know that we are here, Captain Alpus Warrens. We should try to avoid facing them directly while we establish our defenses. That food. Eat. All right. Fifteen. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> fifteen in two rolls, I guess. Uh, I guess we find. That's fine. Oh, what weapon do I have, anyways? Forgot to check. Also, we need to check the uh, the camp. Camp after this. Okay, I have a sword. Oh yeah, the uh, the, the thingy sword. Come for me! I'll fuck you up. What? Okay, that guy was not even mentioned. Wait, I want to finish him. See, I was not invulnerable again. you while you're in your animations, do you? It's a fair. I'm gonna write a five-page repost about it on Reddit. <laughs> nah. Bam! Food. Oh, we still get food if you're all good enough. So I guess... You know, the roll is still there. You just have to fight it. But then the roll becomes lower. And you get more fame. So I guess it's better to fuck up the first roll. So if I land on this again. Yeah, alright, yeah, alright. All right. I get it. Nicely timed. Oh, yeah, boy. Taking all the usable timber from this area, Captain Opus declares we need to find another source. Return the wood to the forest. General store. Well, that sucks. At least I can check these. Flame strike. Perform an attack that ignites blade with fire for 8 seconds. Fire causes 175% damage to northerners. The post causes armor damage. Oh, well, that's good. Better than the Winter's Bane. Less damage, but still. Imperial Armor, Stun Bash. Maximum life. Adds plus 20 max life while you have one handed weapon equipped. Huh. Shuffle less. Chance cards gam get Gambit's shuffle once less, down to a minimum of one shuffle. 
I remember that being very good in the first game. I think there is something like that. Or maybe it slows the shuffle down or something. Eight fame required. So all the Imperial soldiers have fame? Post 25 northerners by attacking immediately after defending. Which is basically mash attack after you defend. <laughs> buy free food! Well, that's. Actually, I'm gonna buy free food because this store is going to go away, so. Take a brief moment of peace in these northern winters. Find a spot suitable enough to rest with your small army of Empire soldiers. Strela is deep in discussion with Alpus regarding combat formations best suited against the northern raid from the sea. No building current at fort. 980 soldiers remaining at fort. Jesus. I'm guessing that raiding party is going to be big. Review mission. Wait a while, Northerner counters remove this turn. But if, if you're ahead and you're just waiting for them to come and die. Rinko won't let us take the fort's full forces unless we build up their defenses. Attended by Medic. Hey, that's good. Commander Tremico makes a... Wait, was it Tremico or Tremico? Whatever. Makes a cursory inspection of the wagon of wood. Good work, man. He commands the troops to accompany you before quickly retreating to his stand. Don't turn remarks. Keep researching... Keep searching the hills. Still need stone. You may visit the mat stand for supplies. As long as you will remain useful to us. To fame. So I'll get this mercenary some decent equipment. He roars, heading back to his tent. Oh. Hey, I can use this. Gives us extra life. Easier shuffle. Or the frontier barboo. I don't care. But we you are may take their garb, but hopefully not their ideas. Fuck magic! Yay! <laughs> Thousand soldiers, all the soldiers came back, yeah. Inspect the defenses. Lead Captain Opus on another gathering mission. Inspect the defenses. Captain Opus overlooking the digging of a ditch. With wooden logs, Commander Tomiko has ordered us to fortify his base camp before he sends us into the mountain. This might last a little longer here than exposed mountain trails. Considers darkly, gazing up the mountains. Let me show you what we have planned. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> we discussed the state of the fort defenses with Captain Opus. We have five turns before they reach them. What would you suggest we construct? Why is he asking a mercy? Wooden spikes, 30 wood, 80 defense. A palisade, 80 wood, 190 defense. Mm. <laughs> ballistas! <coughs> I love ballistas. 60 wood. Oh, I could make the ballistas and the wooden spikes. Because we have 100 wood. Oh, look, the gatehouse requires a palisade. So maybe the palisade would be better to invest in. Barbie can. <laughs> a barbie can. What the hell is that? Some kind of grilling station? <laughs> uh, it requires a gatehouse. Oh shit. So they apply a central tower. Needs stone. 280 defense though. Mm. Maybe we build the palisade. And then we go out, get wood and stone. Build the central tower. 
And if we only get some stone and some wood, we can still go with the, the gatehouse and then the barbican. And gives 190 defense, though. 10 less than the ballista and wooden spike combined, but in the long run, it's better. So let's build a palisade. Construction begins on a wooden palisade around the fort. You lose zero food. Good. Because you have to impair it. Oh, it takes progress though. Oh shit. Alright. Many soldiers. Let's go. What happens if we go into them? A leader must be strong for their people, or they have failed. Forsaken leaves the mayor as he packs his sizable collection of handkerchiefs into a large trunk. When they gave me this back down backwater town, I thought I'd be a king. I look at me, not even a fair warning. <clears throat> Well, this town is all about to get swarmed by raiding parties. Sarela chastises the flourished old ma flustered on mayor. You're supposed to lead these people. Do you not stand for them against the Empire? The look of recognition crosses the mayor's face. Oh, the peasants will have to leave their entire livelihoods behind. Then he returns to packing, attempting to squash ah, some golden buckles into the near-bursting travel case. Estrella sighs and leaves Farwater's mayor to make his shameful gateway in pace. Oh, get away, sorry. This was my home, you know. She draws her pistol and begins to polish it, absent-mindedly. She explains that an Imperial Legion intends to use the town as a stronghold in their war against the North. Uh, this is comical. <laughs> Estrella was assigned to break the news to the mayor and the townspeople. But they must pack what they can and leave. I believe the Empire means to punish me for defying orders during the corruption outbreak in the old city. I'll surely be trialed for treason if I do not comply this time. What will become of Farwater's villagers? Any family? What happened in the old city? What happened in the old city? We were in the old city, dude. What the fuck? What will happen to the villagers? The city is already crowded to the battlements with people. Many of them had to leave. That is by the by the capital. There is little nearby, but forest and northern territory. I can't imagine where these people will go. To hell! Not even the old city. You were there, you idiot! Remember? <laughs> Law. Let's see if she has any family. Nope, they're all dead. From war, mostly. Then we have soldiers. She has a distant aunt married to some minor lord across the sea. Okay. Strauf paces back and forth, the gold empire pins of high off his guilting, glinting on her belt. Perhaps it is not so bad, it is the nature of war, I suppose. The mayor is useless here, of course, but I know of someone who could help, in help the peasants. The minute her confidence returned to her face, she se sheets her pistol and stands. Come, we are going to visit the peasant king. Oh. Nicely done. That was it. Just a little introductory. Oh, they're going the long way. Hey, let's see what we get from the mountain. We might get stone. Mountains are too perilous for you to pass. Brah. We passed mountain. through the rivers and hoped to be washed clean. So I'll go to the here other we side. are. <laughs> He's just like, eh, whatever. Well, that is it. The game is a bridge between this world and the next, reaching forward into the nothing beyond. By scouting the mountain ranges, you come across a deep ravine. Captain Alpha surveys the cliffside. We could build a bridge here. It could give us an edge over those barbarians. That's why they didn't come this way. They think this pass impossible. Thirty wood, four stone, ten soldiers stand at the edge of the ravine. Oh fuck! They're sending another one. The stench of death is upon everything here. Ooh. We understand that, you and I. I love the stench of death. That's my jam. The miasma hangs in the air, thick and redolent of the dead things trapped in the dark waters. What is redolent? <laughs> oh, I 
gonna, gonna, gonna look this up, bruh. Hell yeah. Fuck, I misclicked. I keep misclicking. I've been very bad with clicking accuracy as of late. I think I'm dying. But you know, that's... That's, that's life. Oh. Scent. It's a different word. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's fumes. Oh fuck, I didn't read it. You spy an old carriage through the fog. It's feels locked in the mire. The occupants either fled or were eaten by the inhabitants of the swamp long ago. Yeah. Since the fog is thickest around its rotting timbers, there may yet be valuables within. Ow. Permanent injury. So what happens if I unequip the, the armor? Oh, if I unequip the armor, I get 90 health. Fuck. God damn it. Enveloped in a thick cloud of marsh gas, you carefully make your way across the stones. Fallen logs towards your target. I didn't get even get to choose. What the hell? So you just, you just receive minus 10 life? And then you still have to do this bullshit? Dude, it's covered. Oh, it's always between those two. Fuck! It was on it for like a small, tr small thingy. I, it's okay. We 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 don't need this. It's fine. We get some food, maybe. Mm. Red token. You make your way to the carriage and discover an old crate. The lock rips from the sodden wood, giving you access to the equipment inside. gonna get the scorch blade bruh I can't use the scorch blade but winter's bay I can defeat 30 nerds with a finisher and with her we can do the finisher more easily hmm. that could be good why can't we what would this be hmm. I'm gonna take winter's bay The armor was... Dude, no, what? I lost health because of that. That's so stupid. Oh, but I gained fame, so I could put the scorched bullshit on. That's bullshit. I lost fucking health because it de-equipped the sword. Wow, that's stupid. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Oh. Stone will be key to your success. Tumble up on a deserted quarry. Setting to the side of the mountains, discarded tools and wooden carts litter the area. We could use this stone. Not many of the tools here are usable. We could get all the stone we need for the fort. Some hard work. Get some stone. Oh, it's chancy. Oh, two soldiers and injured. Oh, what the fuck? Got twelve stone. Imperial fort. Hey, they got some defenses just in time because they're about to get fucked. So I have to step off of it, step back onto it. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, okay, there's some stone. There's a card on it too. On food. 24. So by injured, they mean they died. Alright, we're gonna go back. Although we need wood. How the fuck? We have to go this way. Ah, I know. So this is always active because it counts as a turn. Yeah. Received news of a northern raid of the Imperial Fort. 57 soldiers were lost. Oh god. Northerners attacking 71. Okay. Yikes. So, we will need 50 more wood, so one more gathering, one good gathering. Central tower needs a full hundred, 90 more, 
and just enough stuff. I want the central tower, but it probably takes a lot of time. Oh, what the fuck? There's more! I never looked at this. Oh shit, we, have, we can make a turtle stable. 20 wood, 11 food, 5 squat size, a bakehouse, plus 3 mess tent food, a joinery, build wood structures faster, a mason, build stone structures faster. I think that's a waste because it, it itself needs to be built, so uh, Watchtower, reveal map. It wouldn't have the stone then. What if I run into these fuckers? Do I lose? I can't go to the mess. What is this? Oh, the thingy is visitable. I mean, don't have money, so fuck it. Oh, fuck that. Good thing. Will body. you aid the Empire? Leave them lost, I say. You happen upon an Empire scanning party as you cross a grassy hillock. Soldiers are keen to trade information about the region. Found 18 revealed cards. Trade information. Can the soldiers compare notes? Beep boop beep. What the fuck? This is garbage. We need to build this fucking thing. I don't even know. Um, I don't remember the wood amount we need for that. This is shit. Looks like we'll be back in the capital by the end of the week. One of the soldiers comments as you continue your journey. Alright, so that's the scanning party. Um, we might lose here. We'll definitely lose these soldiers, but let's see what happens. This is a force too large for you to handle on your own. Trouble Let them approaches. pass. Estra calls out, trotting back to you and the troops. We are seriously outnumbered. Luckily, though, we have, come, we have some options for avoiding the brutes. Stumble into the path of a northern raiding party. Tend to hide in a nearby cave or the thick foliage. Okay, so cave is spinny and I guess the foliage is a different challenge. Oh boy, so what are we looking at? One, two failure cards. <laughs> and I got one, yay! Oh dear. <laughs> Move faster next time. Heading to the darkness of a mountain cave. Last moment, you realize training soldiers have failed to hide their tracks. Alright, it's just some berserkers. Just try to not lose any soldiers, I guess. That sucks. I think this is going to become a retry. Oh, they are so well, we have the upper round. Oh, what the fuck? On my mark. Why do I attack so slow and bang? Well, that's one thing. Oh, okay, so that's friendly arrows, so that didn't hurt me, so I don't know what hurt. But maybe it does hurt. Because they are arrows, like they don't care. Got them all was. Yeah, 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 we get fame though. Zero Empire soldiers lost in combat during the thing. Three Northern killed in combat during your skirmish. <gasps> oh, so we can, you know, kill them slowly. That was for unfortunate. He marks us we flee into the hills. We don't have time to waste fighting these barbarians. The job is to build those defenses. It was your actions that necessitated these additions to the game, you understand? I knew you were approaching and tailored things around your lust for fame. Oh, the sound of harm hammering into the town hall. 
Look down. Beside a tiny man stands atop a stool, chipping away at a row of marble sculptures. Impressive, is it not? Sir May Mayflower of all oh, Mayflower, God damn it. Of Kader is a great patron of the arts. You could be too. Uh, it could be. You wouldn't know art if it hit you in the face, he scoffs. His chisel slips under the hammer, breaking off Sir Mayflower's nose. Oops. Holy back away as he spits profanities at you. Oh. I hate them, even when they're helpful. You could have easily kept the priests out of this, you know. <laughs> Look down on your luck. Here, have my lucky coin. Or twelve. Perhaps it will bring you greater fortune than it did me. Thanks. Trouble approaches. Cave again. Keep on doing a click here, but it's always inside. Yeah! I actually want the failure, because we can go and kill some dudes. Oh shit, okay, that might be a problem. <laughs> More people. And they have the trapper dudes. Shit. Why am I in the back? Is it a bug behind the dude? Oh! What the fuck? I didn't even have space. Too long! Oh my god, this is a cluster spark. Killed everyone. Holy shit. I don't know why it's so much slower. Maybe because there are too many people. Nobody died, good. I got bashed a couple times. Northern is killed. Nice. I couldn't roll away from that thing. That was unfortunate. Mm. All I see is numbers go up. No. There we go. What? Old woods. And old secrets dwell here. As the back trees and shadows likely hide all men of creatures. Well, we have to get a ruin. Oh my fucking god. The pendulum is ever changing, and the challenges it presents what? change too. Shall we try? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> hmm. What an unfortunate time for your skills to leave. We have a shaman. And we don't get wood. Just Food loss. I'm gonna starve to death. Oh my god, this will be a fucking clusterfuck. <laughs> oh no. Alright. I feel like I got fucked by RNG when the map was created. Like, wood is just so far away. Great. It's suicide. Oh wait, it's, it's here now. What? Could you not? Died. I think they lost like one guy. We continue to harvest as long as. Oh no, we didn't. Okay. We got 20 wood. Well, we need a lot more. Oh god. I'm running out of. Is gonna be enough. Breathe, you have done well. Oh, yeah, make a donation. The 
Defiant. Deal 10% damage in combat if your companion is not with you. Definitely need this if there are any any dice gambits, you know. They can't go through there, can they? I have to see what's here though. I'm gonna starve to death. Oh shit, we have to start moving back because I can't make it back. Oh fuck, we don't have food. Oh wait, these don't cost food though, but we don't have food to cut wood anyway, so. And this always costs. Oh, what? They can go on the mountain. Huh. They can go wherever the fuck it looks like. Just, I mean, they are northerners, so... You know. Swimming up across a nearby river? No. It sounds like that that just bags resources to go away, you know? Fuck that. Ah, dice gambit! Food! Alright, so foliage from now. Oh, look, we did it. And out among the thick bushes and trees, tense few minutes here as you manage to avoid detection. And we're just following them. Yes, this is how we get food. <laughs> Hell yeah. Even if you fail, we get food. Hell yeah. Awesome. Oh, I should have re-rolled. Although I don't think I can re-roll if I pass the uh, the numbers. Because, you know, if I re-rolled, I would have gotten more food. Hey, we made it here before them. Alright, what do we have? Is it the mess hall? Tent filled with an unpleasant aroma of hardy soldiers and un unidentifiable un un food. By securing supplies for your next track into the wilderness, you are your soldiers' target. Well, is likely dead, as we'll all be soon. It's the waiting that gets to me. Yeah. Gain one food, hell yeah. Expect the defenses. Okay, we don't have enough wood for the thingies, but we are going to make the gatehouse, fuck it. Because then we can work towards the barbican. Yeah. It's not gonna finish before these guys get here, obviously, but it might finish before these guys get here. I can just leave on my own, but I need... We need stone as fast, so we're going to go into these guys. And try to get more food, you know. <laughs> Invaders at the gate. Can you hold against such savages? And for how long? Oh, they have a special thing, because we are on the fort. Okay. The fort is under attack. You rush to confront the raiders as the soldiers mobilize. <laughs> I can help. Nine soldiers advance with you, eager for battle. It is my responsibility to not let these musketeers die. Oh boy, eat it. <laughs> Into battle! On my mark! Soldiers, where are you? Oh! I killed him with the arrow sticking out of my shield. 
stabbed it right into the back of his neck. Yay! I knew that arrow had a purpose. Eight northerners are killed. It's 860 soldiers and seven attackers remain. Oh, can I just keep joining in? Oh no, I can't. No. We're losing so many people. Take a higher narrower trail, attempt to swim. Take a narrower trail. Oh, it's a... Should have taken the fail though. He keeps stepping on them. Good! Oh, I only get food once. Okay, what happens then? Okay, so just fan out. Just as you think the ages passed, the call goes on out among them. Some have spotted your group. It can decrease them. Hello. <laughs> Kill like five dudes before they reach the fort. Hello. Oh, I hate this angle. Ah! Oh, fuck. You all. Oh, what the fuck? Three. Oh, she teleported. God damn it. What's happening? No. Oh. Of soldiers. Oh, you son of a bitch. No, I saw him die. Blame the goddamn man. This guy. Lost like three dudes. Those frost shaman things with their teleports. Hella fucking annoying because they spend their healing so much. Seven soldiers lost. How? Did we even have seven on the field? Jesus. What a waste. Fuck! <laughs> no, Shaman the Frost. I hate that bitch. Because it's pretty much impossible to kill the you know, the other dudes unless you can finish her then. While that healer is on the field. But it's such a clusterfuck that it's like, oh my god. Together, advance! Motherfucker! Online rock. Immediately goes away. What? Excuse me. Well, I can have this. this. I'm taking this boy. Are you fucking kidding me? Who did this stuff? Shamans are annoying. My new most hated enemy. Okay, 
Alright, no soldiers died though. Good. That's 65. Took some prisoners in the last attack. They had little useful information, but claimed to have traveled through the eastern mountains right? mountain ranges via tunnel. Oh, that's what I saw. Here. Comes out out near the quarry. Investigate. Well, immediately go that way. We'll take some stone. I, I knew that was a success. I didn't want to try my luck with the uh, the huge success. <laughs> I didn't know where that went. Could have been there or there. This tunnel system may lead all the... Oh, I had to do the quarry anyways. The tunnel system may lead all the way through the other side of the mountains. Ooh. Refell tunnel. Oh, that's why it had a sword thingy on it. Let's see. A tunnel. hidden passage. Perhaps you can make it harder for the northerners to progress. Mm. Approach the tunnel entrance. The old Imperial map had a grave of tunnel listed, but I had no idea it existed. Hours later, they returned and report. It leads through the other, to the other side of mountains. It's clear evidence that the Northerners have used this path for years. Is this the only way out of this hide? I was asked. I can be completely sure, but it looks like it can't be completely sure. Would like to see these cards, though. Alpha's turns to you, saying we could fortify the entrance on this side, make the town even smaller. And even a small garrison could hold the pass. Force these barbarians to take a different path. 20 wood? Fuck! At least we get food. To make the long journey through the dark tunnels, you spot something glint glinting faintly in the co torchlight. Go! On the ground, you find a curious ring. We'll examine it later. Oh, at least I got the token. Arm wrestling, great. Oh my god. Bunch of food. Insane. I still get some money, right? Guys, they made the thing. Got them. Foliage. I'm <laughs> milking that blessing dry, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. So I need four more. So I would, this would. Oh my god, 15. What? Oh Jesus. That's high. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, all these boys are dead. I might be dead too. Shit. I was hoping for another little forest or something. Get some wood. Oh my god. Because the thing is, this goddamn bitch kills everybody. Target. Wrong fucking target! Oh. Even again. Punch me. Switch. Wait, what? I thought it was gonna do a, a fucking ass. I was mashing ass. Too long. God damn it. All the boys are dead. Oh, 
Man, this is getting bad. My damage is absolute garbage against the shamans. At least we have 52 fame. I mean, hell yeah, I can equip anything. Never mind, 56. Might as well check this. A magician still operating in these oh, lands. Oh, I don't know why I didn't read it. A brave it. decision, and one I hope keeps him in good health. Chanter states that he has nothing suitable for you at this time. Leave. Oh. Alright, never mind. Bye. Because the raiders follow the path underneath. Imperial soldier suddenly slips. But maybe some of the rocks will break the northerners' necks, you know. Each of the wish to make stand before northerners are upon you. How many goddamn shamans do they have? <laughs> I hate this goddamn shaman piece of shit. Focus down the shaman! Santa Claus clone army. <laughs> Disturbing. Two dudes died. Jesus. Why do I get double fame? Oh, yeah, I can't fortify it because I need more wood. But the wood is here. And we have to go around because I don't have enough wood to make the fucking bridge. Um, oh, I'm so stupid. Why did I do that? Through. We don't need this. The fuck? I'm like following these assholes. What's this swimming one? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is horrifying. I just hoped. <laughs> Alright, so what do we need to make this into a thing? 30 wood. I have to go all the way around and use all my food to get wood. That's the only thing I can do. This garbage in the way too. It's like without stopping, but it still makes everybody move because we did stop for the card. And then this shit happens. Oh yeah. But I use all my goddamn food on that dense woods. I need three sixes. This is bad. I should have 
Oh, but I didn't have food, right? When I first got to the dense woods, I only had like two foods or some bullshit. I couldn't even farm it. I hate this. Okay, I, what the? Get out of it, get out of it. That was a spear, but it was an axe. Ah, oh, we probably lost it. Five people. Oh my god. We have two rivers. Alright. And it's this garbage. Oh, this is so bullshit. That will set you in good stead from here. How much do we need? Oh, okay. What? wrong with me? I don't know why I fucking clicked that. <laughs> A soldier lost? What the hell? Yeah, he's still got wood, so that's good. Need like 150. Poorly I know done. why I'm clicking it. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness. Because I don't realize that the blue stops going backwards faster because there's the thing on the side. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, 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 we don't even care. Nicely timed. fell apart very quickly. I don't even know if these raiding attacks will ever stop. Like, do I need to get a certain amount of uh, defense? Because they send more and more people. Yet we will press on regardless. Too long. Let it stop. Oh, what a waste. Holy shit. 
If I had Hretha's Ire, this would be amazing. You know, punch people, then do the sea. Alright, we lost no one, but I'm, I'm about to die. Why did it put me back? What? Is it because they're building it? Why couldn't they just stay on it? Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> that was annoying. That should help. Patience. Do not move too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. Need more! Getting the golden thing, that's for sure. You have done well. That's not a lot of wood anymore. Holy shit. Is this done? Cross. <clears throat> can make the central tower, though. 280 defense. Better than the Barbican. It's not gonna finish in this. in 3. I don't think it will finish in 4 either. We'll go for it. do. Golden shield is ornamental, while inf ineffective in combat, this item is very valuable. Ha! <laughs> it gives 8 defense and it's good to sell. Okay. And still a shield that can block and stuff. It just doesn't have any bonus. Good. I love the Emperor. Execute thief. <laughs> Deal 100 damage to a random enemy thief when activated. Charge. Item restores charges of the combat. Powerful combat item. 30 second cooldown. Can use it three times and it recharges. So if I have like a bunch of thieves and it takes a long time, then I can just kill them. That's an interesting item. I don't think I care about it. Thieves are not that difficult in general. Unless it's like a timed fight, you know. Felvin's favor. First skill. Enemy is randomly highlighted. If that enemy is killed first, gain plus five life. Is it max life or just healing? Remove card. Optionally, remove a card from each will gambit. Oh. This is good. Nice. Well, and the elusive charm, which would be nice, but. Whatever. Save it for a discount. 
So now we're going... We need to go this way, though. First, we need stone and we need wood, so... Yeah. Oh my god, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. All the fort? Man. Finishers or Winter's Bane. I think. 29 out of 30. Yep. Cool. Uh, another one. <laughs> 600. Oh, I need a thousand defenses all together, and then we can go- oh my god, so, yeah. Definitely need the tower and the barbican, and then the ballista. But this ain't over yet. It's fun, but kind of, you know, uh, frustrating <laughs> a little bit. When you just see your numbers dwindling and these fuckers just get- Bigger and bigger in numbers. Too long. Ah. Ah. to this asshole. ring from now on every single time I go up against northerners yeah we don't have enough we can maybe survive two more groups that's it and they don't have anyone on the field so I'm guessing the big push is coming big push 
That's huge success. Men are highly motivated, working the stone quickly and efficiently. 40 stone, that's enough. Okay, that's uh, 45 stone. Back at the fort. Gotta get wood. We got 50 wood. Okay, so if we come back here after a while, you know. should I check this? this? Oh and yeah, here he wants is your reward, at least in potential. By the side of a waterfall, you meet a young woman with striking gray hair. She's holding a baby. I'm about to drown this baby. Breathing traveler. Treat these waters with caution. They are not to be meddled with. If you're parched, you're welcome to stop by my cottage. I have a pie cooling on my windowsill. Windowsill, too. Mmm. Behind her, a little wooden sign reads Waterfall of Youth, very dangerous. Stay clear. I am Yvonne. The one says as she leads you to her cottage. I'm guessing the baby in her hands is some random adventurer who was like, I'm gonna swim in this fountain of or water of youth. And I turn into a baby, you know. They, they restarted their life. As just promised, a hearty beef pie awaits you. Enjoy it with a side of mashed potatoes. Ah, yes. With the meal finished, they won't ask you to help her while she puts the baby to sleep. With a knife to the heart. The rare sun sheen flower grows nearby, and she'd like you to gather a blue. It is impolite to refuse. The sun sheen sprouts from the rocks behind the waterfall. If you were careful, you could climb out to retrieve without falling into the water. Time to get a game over, turn into a baby. Remembering the warning, you inch your way along the rock, gingerly moving from stone to stone. Oh my god. They are not moving though. If they are not moving, it's easy. That will set you in good stead from here. Easy win. You managed to grab a ledge and regain your balance. From here you reach the sunsheen baggage, make your way back to the shore. Yvonne is delighted to see the sunshine. Most travelers just eat and leave. In thanks, she gives you a gift. And this will protect you in your travels. 94 fate. Oh! Da -da -da. Even if we lose, we have a bunch of tokens we get. What if I go on to the village? Bring the battle to their door. <laughs> I don't know what the fate's path was, but I stepped on it and it showed. I don't know what it does. Actually, can I check what it does? Where is it? There it is. What are you? Reveal all encounters when you reach the stairs. That's why it showed, because this is considered the stairs. This ma this uh, card, the, uh, the village. <laughs> This is garbage! Alright, now we know never to equip it. Northerner village. <laughs> Stand at the edge of a forest, it's like Caesar's legion, you know? Go to their fucking island, kill them all. <laughs> Bordering a large northern village. Arm the warriors cluster by the campfires, carousing, sparring, and tending to their weapons. Unable to safely get closer, you turn back to report what you've seen. Oh. I'm not reporting jack shit. Whee. Maybe the more soldiers we have, the more wood we can gather. So let's not lose soldiers. Do what I can to leave the shadows behind us. We need another 50. This is pretty easy to get the blue, you know? <laughs> Nicely timed. 
Nicely timed. Hell yeah, 50. All right. So I'm going back. I'll do one more uh, quarry. What? Bullshit. Oh, that was enough. Cost the soldier. Yay! Pass a messenger on the road who pauses to give you an update from the tunnel garrison. A band of northerners strike passing through Greyford Tunnel. They couldn't breach the fences and turned back. Turned back, disappeared, dude. They died. And so building this should have been a priority. Damn. So waste, uh, using up my, all my wood here was the bad move. But I didn't know, you know, because you could use the initial hundred wood, build the bridge. At the tunnel, and then you're basically right there at the uh, the wood. Only one river to cross, not two. It's two rivers or four rivers, and you have to go back and forth. So, if this is a fixed layout, you know, the second run will be a lot easier because I'm definitely not getting the gold token. That's for sure. A bunch of wood here. Look, it's bigger now. It's nice. Alright. Ballist is 120. Barbican 180. 150. And these don't do anything, so. Let's go with the Barbican. It's only 40 wood. Oh. 130 wood is what we need. So we have all the wood. Stone is also... Yeah, that quarry was unnecessary. Alright, do the barbecue. Now I can actually just leave the fort because I don't need more stone, I don't need more wood. So I can leave the soldiers here and just... walk around, I guess. What else would I want? Huh. Although, actually... So we need every defense, because that's how we get to a thousand. Right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is kind of dumb. Hey, Imperial 4, look at that, it's big. Enter the fort, you are summoned to meet with Commander Tren Now it's Trenico again. Sometimes it's Tremico, now it's Trenico. Nico Nico Ni! You find him standing over a disheveled Imperial soldier. It was a trap! A soldier stammers. We were lured to the village with promises of peace. But the warriors, thousands of them! We already killed thousands, dude. Had snuck behind us and broke our neck. We didn't stand just chance. Tremiko, what the fuck? <laughs> Turns to Captain Opus and says, Ready the man. If what this man claims is true, then Roldan may already be dead. I saw barbarian monster drag him off his horse with my own eyes, the soldier declares. 
wild-eyed. <sighs> it was covered in ice that no blade could pierce. What, the horse? Oh, the barbarian. Or... No, that was the horse, right? Or his eyes. Ah, it's probably the horse. He's talking about the uh, the horse. It was covered in ice. Okay, cool. <laughs> Tremiko dismisses the man. Merc, you will lead my men to this village immediately. Opus, bring me their leader. And we will have the truth. Defeat northern an army. Try as you might, you fall short of greatness. Excuse me? What? A small reserve will be able to hold the fort while the main force attacks the village. Captain Opus explains before leaving to gather the troops. For failing to defeat the northern army, 500 soldiers required. I failed to win the gold token. Okay. Okay, now I understand. So at least 50% of the soldiers need to survive to this point. Well, <laughs> well, 50% of 50%, you know. I mean, even less, because it's... Oh, God. Well, that sucks. Yeah, that that is bad. Holy shit. So, yeah, building the bridge, making this passage safe, or, you know, smaller... But, you know, I didn't know. It's, it's blind, so... Actually, is it blind? It is blind. Good. <laughs> 206 soldiers and us two struggling through the river. Ah, it only took one, one turn. It's easy. Uh, we're going this way. We don't want to go into this. I don't know how 206 soldiers would look like on the battlefield, so... Oh, oops. Fuck this. It didn't even move. Like, it's so stupid. Ah! Justice seems such a fleeting concept, lost among the sea winds. All we have left is her younger sister, Revenge. Rip, you lead the army to the edge of the forest surrounding the northern village. The mountain men gather before their shaman, another shaman, who stands chanting over a pile of corpses. The sight of a bloodied scrap of cloth makes Opus gasp in recognition. The bodies! It must be Rolden and his men. So who was this Rolden again? Some captain? She watched, the shaman concludes her ritual and the corpses are consumed by green flame. Chaos. Chaos candle. <laughs> From the ashes rise a mon rises a monster. The frightful construct of ice and steel. Now this might be actually Grim Dawn. They are making amalgams. Not Warframe amalgams, but the corpse amalgams. <laughs> From Grim Dawn. They're flash constructs. They are desecrating our men. Ugh. One of the soldiers cries out. The northmen below turn to regard the tree line with suspicion. Why are the trees shouting? Having lost the element of surprise, Opus gives the command to attack. Tyrant of Frost. Hell yeah, let's go. I hope it's not a healer. I didn't see a shaman in there, so... The Polis people, the tyrants, something else. The big undead dude. Okay, they don't have a shaman, so we do it. Champion! His cold eyes meet yours, and you can sense the many who have died at his hand. Rolden is merely the most recent. Tyrants favor regenerative ice armor and substandard attacks. Use bash to break. Okay, so kill everybody else first. I liked Let's... things when they were black and white. You make life complicated. Fuck you. Oh, good job, soldier. Damn. Standing there, her ugly ass Mad Max. Oh, 
Fuck your eyes up. Basic shield, let's go. Blowing. What? He's gonna fall. Oh. <laughs> At least that was satisfying. <clears throat> hey, we got Winter's Bane. And we got the token. What's it gonna be? Some cosmetic? You have gathered enough pieces. Now let us see what that has gained you. As the fighting in your vicinity dies down, you pause to take stock of the two armies locked in combat. Find yourself unnumbered as the Northerners cut down the remaining Imperial soldiers. The Empire has lost the fear. They have defeated their champion. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> you <laughs> we have lost your towers right into the heart of Northern territories and held them Your against champion. great forces. Shield of A. Northern Justice. Looks like another shield. Spiked Bone Guard. And Coward's Bane. Ooh, dual man. Two or do wielding. If you need a champion, you get carriage of the departed, spyglass, illicit trade, raider perversion, ah, <laughs> prevention, and we get worker's hammer. It's a supply. Committing crime in the far water. Get the sterilized peasant king. Or in Greyfell Tunnel, we get Bullseye. Oh. Sunshine Flower, we get even Scottage again. Interesting. And our supplies have been added to Ring of Prep Preparation. That was fun, actually. It was, you know, like close, <laughs> frustrating, but, but, but fun. I liked it. I liked it. Alright, we're not going to start another one. But I'll definitely come back to Justice tomorrow. Maybe not for a first campaign, but maybe the second. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Justice is fun. Justice! Goodbye!